D9 and Missile Trap. Attack power damage. Yes, I've been a Missile Trap. I hate all groups of humans. I can love some people if I meet them. But I hate all the groups where they're to belong. I hate all groups humans. I don't think that any human is evil on his own. That also. But I'm being not so blind that that I mean one percent of a group maybe that's not evil or something like that. So not despise the group. The only thing that for my matter, for me myself, is the animals. Animals have harmed me no once, and most likely also not you once. I mean not a violator of humans. No. I only say what needs to be said. And if you've been against uh, freedom from speech, then you've been guilty of breaking one of your precious little human rights laws that you want to have. And that's freedom of speech, Article 10. This one protects your right of freedom of speech and of opinion. This law is absolutely fine to know if you've been an activist or you've been a journalist or you've been a person that just has one other opinions. But this does not mean that you have the right to act out your violent behavior. And I want to say that I hate humans and I don't harm them. Despite most groups of humans, uh, despite most humans and most groups of, hum of humans. For what they do to other animals, the earth and to other humans. Make me that not better than all the people that claim, never show, but only claim that I give about other humans and that they give so much about uh, other animal species that they give about. It don't matter what you say, the only thing that matters is your actions. What the God? I can't say for anything. I can say that I despise the whole world and I put a lot of lava on it and I praise to the gods and let it thunder. But it don't mean anything. People have to be uh, with stopping with being so fast bad hurt. I'm trying to be so friendly if I can for my own. But that does not mean that I sugarcoat anything that I say and what I mean. I'll be true to myself. Even if this occurs to ridicule of others. And right now, how we now act on this moment as human species. I don't say you or anyone, but in the bigger picture, we act like the devil. We pick and pick and choose forms of discrimination that we like or not. Instead that we give compassion and rights to any living being. That we extend our circle to compassion of any living being. 
So, just like Albert Einstein once said, a human being sees himself as something separate from the rest, when optional delusion of his consciousness. This illusion is a kind of prison for us, to restrict ourselves from giving compassion to some close to us. Not only some close to us. A task must be to free ourselves from this prison by spreading our compassion to any living being and nature in its beauty. One of the biggest problem, problems that I think is that humans we sell as a fast offensive and that they not think about what somebody maybe can mean with another opinion. It is good to work. You have to work a vital yes, and listen to what Alex said. And then you come to a conclusion. You don't, in the middle of one thing that somebody say, and the person say in that moment, and then you don't can say that you like don't like anything that this person say. I maybe like don't uh, like any what anybody say. You know, for one hundred percent. As long as humans don't give compassion, not give respect to other living beings, it's not fair, more than fair to put them. Also, the moral mirror on the face of them face. And let me not forget, people that eat meat to their neck. They've been the most violent people on this planet. I have heard nobody when me, Terry and X pay people to animal electric coots, aka rape, chinchillas, foxes in and in, uh, fur farms. Pay people to rape cows and pigs. What I call artificial insemination, that's a euphemism. Just like euphemism, euphemism, which are euphemism before murder in the time of the Nazis. For the victims of an atrocity, is that you know something, not no excuse. Say it to the victims. Of all, of all uh, places, say, I don't understand, I know, no, it didn't mean that. Is that an excuse if you've been the victim? Figure it out. For the victims in these atrocities, all your excuses be lame, be irrational, be immoral, being unrational, being violent, vicious, and no justification. Imagine always the victim's position if you choose right from wrong. Because if you've been the victim, there is no excuse for what you do. But when you've been the victimizer, it doesn't matter and you make, can make any excuses. There's a reason that Nazis concentration um, say that that they're only that some uh, say have uh, that actually that they murder uh, 150 people and that they murder only Jews because they're being ordered to do that. That's a weak ass excuse. Say that to the victims. Say uh, some white liberation white people say that also. Just like uh, blacks have do that also the act the same way as the black as the white crackers in the time of slavery. If you actually be a black person and you eat meat dairy and eggs, you participate in the same kind of cruelty. Immoral behavior that you despise about the white people in the time of slavery. Gun Gandhi, uh, 
John Africa. Ether. Uh, Frederick Douglass. Have to, for actually, Frederick Douglass, I have to say. Of course. My master. Have most, actually, not more think about me than one of his cows of his, uh, one of his animals from his stone. Slavery is a system wherein animals and human being animals be socially oppressed, exploited without consent of their well and what their world. This system of pure hundred percent evil behavior. Violence and rid us be based on cruelty, violence, viciousness and Mass. There is no morality in protecting victimizers. There is only morality in protecting victims. 